We have ways of bending and making complex shapes out of wood, metal, and plastic. But if you want to make a curve out of stone, you have to start with a huge block and waste a ton of raw material. So I've been looking into ways to bend stone. Test number one was a granite slump test. So I put three different thicknesses in the kiln and let it fire. It took until 2100 Fahrenheit to notice any slumping on any of them. I got this result by 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. I did have some success. I bent stone, but I would categorize this as slowly breaking rather than slumping. The surface finish is just ugly. I don't know if I would have gotten that fire polish if I took this to 2350. I re-ran the same settings as last time, except I let it get to 2350 Fahrenheit. The results are pretty bad. There might be a hint of fire polish on this, but I think granite slumping is a lost cause. I decided to try obsidian instead of granite because it's a glass, and so I don't have to heat it up to melt a mineral. The hotter it gets, the more fluid it gets. Grabbed a piece of obsidian off my parents' porch and got really good results. By 1700 Fahrenheit, I noticed some slumping, and by 1900 Fahrenheit, I had this shape. So I took it back to my parents and showed them what I did with their obsidian, and my dad informed me that this is actually coal. I believe I made coke here. Kind of an embarrassing mistake, but also an interesting failure. I went and got obsidian for real from a local rock shop. Came back to check it around 1500 degrees and it was exploded. Okay, ramped it too fast. I ran it the next day, checked it by 1200 degrees Fahrenheit and it was exploded. It exploded pretty violently. There was one of these shards lodged in the top of the kiln. This sample of obsidian wasn't the best, but it didn't even come close to working, even at a very slow ramp rate. This is some virgin material I made in the kiln while working on a process to cast obsidian. I also had a really nice chunk of natural obsidian that I slabbed. That's what 1200 degrees Fahrenheit looks like. And, oh hell yeah, we got a little slumping. Peak temperature was around 2000, and then I let it cool down overnight. This video makes it seem simple, but a lot of research went into this project. To my knowledge, it's never been done before. I'm gonna play with this process and have some cool projects in the works. I'm also really excited about my cast obsidian butterfly, which I'm confident is the finest cast obsidian object in the history of the world. Mm -hmm.